We're now going to talk about how logarithms have to deal with growth or decay. So remember that our default formula is that a at some time t, the amount at some time t is equal to the initial amount, times e to the kt, where if k is positive, it's growth, and if it's negative, it's decay, and we don't let, ever let our growth or decay rate be zero, or it never changes. Well, if we solve for kt, that means we're going to divide by a, and so we get at divided by a equals e to the kt, and just like before, we're just going to take the natural log of both sides. So the natural log of the amount divided by what we started with is going to be equal to kt, and then whichever one I'm solving for, I just plug in the other ones, and I get it. But this allows me to solve for my growth or my decay, and for the k value, the rate, or for the time of that value. So these are the formulas that we're going to be using over the next couple of videos.